This video is just a short extract from the entire course. If you wish to see all of the videos from this series at higher quality and in far larger screen size, head over to ifskills.com. All right, it's time to start working with Encore. And to do that, you need to start a new project. To do that, just double click on the icon here on the desktop or start it up any other way that you normally start a new program. Just double click here. That opens up Encore and displays a splash screen like this. And it says, any recent projects you've worked with will be listed here. And here it says, new project, open project, or what's new. What's new takes you to a website that talks about new things inside Adobe. We're gonna stick with these two guys here. Since we don't have an existing project, we need to start a new project. And the thing about Encore, and you might have also noticed when you work with Premiere, it works for Premiere as well, you have to be working in a project to be working inside Encore. Let's say a program like After Effects or Photoshop, you can just start them up and have nothing loaded up, kind of a blank slate waiting for you to do something. But when you work with Encore, you have to have a project in place to proceed. So we'll click on the New Project button here. That opens up this new project dialog box, and it's pretty straightforward. It asks you for a name and a location. So for our purposes, I'll just call this one new project. And now the thing is, where are we going to put it? Now for this tutorial, I asked you early on to make a folder called My Encore Exercises and put it on your desktop like that. You didn't have to do it, but if you did, that'll make it a little bit easier. So I'm going to select that as the place where we're going to store this project. And you can do something similar. It's not a good idea to put this inside the Working Files folder because it may kind of interfere with the stuff we've got there already. So try to find some place to put it besides the Working Files folder. Now in the Project Settings, you've got a couple of choices, Blu-ray or DVD. And the thing is, it really doesn't make much difference what choice you make at this point because you can always change it later. So don't sweat this too much. If you make a choice and you go, oh darn, I meant to make it Blu-ray instead, you can always go into the project settings inside Encore and change it. No big deal. But let's just proceed as if we really intended to make a DVD in North America. So we'll select DVD as opposed to Blu-ray and we'll select NTSC as opposed to PAL. NTSC is the standard used in North America and Japan, and PAL is used throughout most of the rest of the world. There's a third pretty popular format called CCAM, but that is not supported inside Encore. And then down below here, it says Transcode Settings. So if you choose DVD, these are the standard default transcode settings, how your video and audio files can be converted so that they will play on a DVD. And the standard way to do that in a DVD world is MPEG-2, 720x480, 2997 frames per second when you're talking about NTSC. And the transcoding is Dolby Digital and the bitrate is 8 megabits per second. That's a pretty big bitrate. That really won't give you the two full hours that you might expect to have on a DVD. That'll be a fair amount less, like an hour and 10, hour and 20 minutes. You can always change these guys now or later, but I'm going to click on this little button here to show you what you can do. Notice you can't change the transcoding in terms of the file format. It has to be MPEG-2 on a DVD, but you can change the bitrate here to something less or something more. But again, you can always change this later. So I just accept the default at this point. And then you can change the audio transcoding scheme. Dolby Digital is a really high quality compression scheme, as is MPEG-1 Layer 2, which is also called MP2. And then PCM is uncompressed. It's lossless. So if you want to have absolutely pure audio, you can select PCM. But again, you can select that later. We'll just click OK here and take the defaults. By the way, look what happens if I choose Blu-ray. The codec changes to H.264, 1920 by 1080. And this talks about Dolby Digital again. And then the bitrate is 15 megabits per second, basically double what it is for DVD because it's higher quality video. But again, you can change these guys. 15 megabits per second is the lowest amount that can be done in this drop-down list, up to 40 megabits per second here. Well, again, these are the defaults. You can change the codec. It doesn't have to be H.264. It can be MPEG-2. So here you do have an option. With a DVD, you don't. But we'll take the defaults here if we were going to go with Blu-ray. And here you just have two choices, PCM or Dolby Digital, when you're working inside Blu-ray. We'll go back here and we'll accept the defaults there. Click on DVD instead. We've got the name here. we got the location. And then click OK. And then here we are inside Encore with this blank slate with a new project ready to go. The project name is up here. The name of the file is called newproject.ncor, Encore, right? NCOR, Encore. And when you create a new project that does one other thing, let me show you that. Inside this folder that I made, that is the project. That is the file we just created. But whenever you make a new project, any kind of a project, it creates a folder with the exact same name as the project. That folder has a couple of subfolders inside it with a couple of other files. That's the default thing. It happens every time you make an Encore project. And these guys 
have to be kept together at the same file folder level like this, otherwise this project won't open. Now back here in Encore, there is one other way to make a new project. That's from within an existing project. Now you can't have more than one project open at a time, but if you are working on a project and you want to open up a new project, you simply go up to File, New, Project. When you click on that, you're going to get a message. Do you want to save your existing project? Well, in this case, my answer could be no, because I intend to delete the project from that folder anyway. But it's a good practice, of course, to say yes. So I'll say yes in this case. And then you get the new project dialog box, and you can start things all over again. I could do even newer project or something like that, just to differentiate it from what we saw before. So I click OK like that, and we start all over again. So that's how you make a new project when you start up Encore, and also from within Encore.